A look back at un año asombroso, la clase de español año tres. We dove right in, reviewing mandatos. Señora smiled with joy as niños chanted, Loco controlados, enfocados, animados, estamos hoy. New Buenos Dias songs and chants we learned each and every one by heart. Cosas buenas, feliz cumpleaños, we rocked them from the start. We then did a little review, took it back to years one and two. Hola, me llamo, como estas means how are you. Why are we learning Spanish? High school? Jobs? Cultural awareness? Took some time to remind each other why we even work on this Spanish business. A, B, C, Che, Che, Che. We reviewed El Alfabeto like a bunch of bosses. Hey! Ready for year three, we studied las, las profesiones. Talked about what we'd want to be. Cuando sea grande, 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 grande. Y'all sang so enthusiastically. Una batalla between chicos y chicas really set the tone. Then Groot, Genie, and Hamburger Boy drove this unit home. From there we headed on to modes of transportation. We sure gave our amigo Hamilton a world traveler's education. You can arrive in El Carro a través del Oceano. Ay, 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 Hamilton. Escuela para ti este verano. Then we moved and grooved in every which direction, even did the Mississippi cha-cha with skill and perfection. Next, we had a concierto with animales talentosos. Toco! Todos los instrumentos. No matter how many times we practiced the phrase toco, you made it clear that your preference was to boldly belt out taco. For a little change of pace, we learned los siete continentes, and then we just had to review los países hispanohablantes. With a more accurate world view, we touched upon la cultura, and in Ecuador y México, we discussed la baila y la música. After instrumentos, thought I'd give you a fun little dare to sing and move your hands to because you know I'm all about that tableware. We ate like perros with manos and said, Me gustaría. Drilled over pastelitos ricos. Que maravilla. En el restaurante, some fabuloso skits you wrote. Some were serious, lots were silly, but all ended on a great note. With full bellies, it was time to party. So we read Spanish invitaciones. We translated them like gurus, mastering la unidad, celebraciones. We traveled around the Spanish-speaking mundo to Mexico, España, y Honduras, learning about tradiciones and people who party differently than us. Death to the cake, la quinceañera, Las Ferias de Abril, of cultural celebraciones, we really got our fill. Question words, question words, question words, who, what, when, where, how, why. We had to brush up on these palabras, so any question we could ask. But we never dreamed it'd be such a grande task. Then for spring break, we dusted off our pasaportes, took an avión to Argentina. Thank goodness for no delays. We landed in Buenos Aires, a capital known for its fresh air. You planned excursiones around the city, stopping here, there, and everywhere. Next, we worked on our masculine voices and declared weird the new normal. All for the sake of learning weather phrases. We even sang like T-Swift, all fancy and formal. With summer on the horizon, we just had to have some fun. So we brought in our boy Olaf and learned phrases like 
I'm going swimming. I'm going to put on sunglasses, and I'm going to lay out in the sun. Three years of Spanish you all have spent with me. You've made my job so much fun, and I am truly filled with glee. Oh, what a year! You have come so very far. Please know that you are truly a Spanish superstar. En el verano, you will surely be missed. Remember to enjoy the sol and to jugar afuera once you are dismissed. Enjoy the time with your familias. Make memories with amigos old and new. And in septiembre, together, we'll continue to expand our world view. Now, go and be asombroso, be fabuloso y estupendo, and be sure to comer lots and lots of helado. Adios. Nos vemos. Hasta luego. Mis amigos regresaremos. Muy pronto. En septiembre. Feliz verano, amigos.